Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Another terror plot foiled, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Putting aside all the ideological BS, American law enforcement agencies have done a great job in protecting us since the 9-11 attack, and I want to publicly thank them tonight. Once again this week, aggressive law enforcement aborted. Possible violence, this time from a Muslim in Oregon, 19-year-old Mohammed Hassan Mohammed, has been arrested and charged with attempted use of a weapon of mass destruction. Now, the FBI says Mohammed wanted to set off a bomb in Portland's Pioneer Square, where 10,000 people were gathered to watch a Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Mohammed is pleading not guilty. His lawyers say he was set up. That's because the FBI, apparently acting on information supplied by Mohammed's own father, used a sting operation whereby Mohammed and an undercover agent discussed violence against Americans. Now, I was in there, so I don't know what happened. And if Mohammed's lawyers can prove entrapment, the jury should find him not guilty. But I am very glad, very glad, that the FBI is using stings like that. Because there's no question there are terrorists on U.S. soil looking for opportunities to kill Americans. I mean, what are the feds supposed to do? Ignore a guy looking to commit a terrorist act? Come on. Law enforcement must be proactive on the terror front. So the use of undercover agents to discover criminal intent is legitimate and very necessary, not only in terrorist cases, but also in narcotics, child molesting, and other illegal conspiracy situations. Yet, some believe that these undercover tactics should not be used. Once again, what are we supposed to do? Wait for a child rapist to ruin a kid's life? Somebody has an active criminal intent, that is a crime. The one caveat is you cannot coerce somebody into committing a crime. A person has to actively want to do it. And the feds say Mohammed did. Talking Points has said for years that the American left is a destructive force. They oppose just about every anti-terror measure, preferring theory to actually protecting human lives. One more point. Major Nadal Hassan, who slaughtered 13 people at Fort Hood in Texas, gave off all kinds of warning signals that he's a terrorist. Yet nobody did anything about it. Remember that? So 13 Americans are in the ground because Hassan was allowed to act on his violent impulses. Case closed. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, disagreement with my talking points. Here now, the host of the program, Freedom Watch, <laughs> on the Fox Business Channel, Judge Andrew Napolitano. All right, so let's, let's keep this in the realm of reality. I don't want to hear any theory, okay? Well, that's why I'm here, to bring you to a level of reality. You bring me into reality. Where specifically am I going wrong? You're wrong to say it's a crime to harbor criminal intent. There are 4,000 federal criminal statutes. Anybody can contemplate in their mind breaking one, and that's not a crime. You've told about one-third of the story. The FBI picked an easy mark. The FBI trained him in the use of explosives. The FBI itself exploded illegal weapons in his presence to teach him how to do it, and in doing so, committed crimes. The FBI talked him into doing this, and then got him to say, well, I was thinking about doing it before I met you guys. And then the FBI charges him with attempting to explode a device, a, a weapon of mass destruction. It was a truck filled with sawdust. It couldn't have exploded. Well, that's right. They weren't going to give the guy access to a bomb. So now, he couldn't have done what they say well, he attempted to do. that's according to you, and again, you weren't there. Now, the feds say on tape, tape recordings, yes. they give this guy plenty of time to back away. For example, the feds say, they said, look, if you set off the bomb in Pioneer Square, women and children are going to get hurt. They may die. Are you sure you want to do that? The guy, time after time after time, says, yes, 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 yes. Not only that, his history was, going back to 15, four years ago, he wanted to become involved with the jihad. He wanted to do this. He tried to get in touch with al-Qaeda. Look, this isn't some guy they dragged off the street. You know that. This is an easy mark. Wait, wait. How, does the, FBI, father, how does the FBI decide who to target? I'll tell you how. His own father called them and said, I have a disturbed son who's trying to get in with the jihad, and I'm afraid he's going to kill somebody. So take two That's years how. and talk him into committing a crime, show him how to do it, lead him by the nose, and the crime can't be committed. You say they, he talked him in. Now, I said in talking about his memo, if his lawyers can prove that, then the jury should acquit. Actually, his lawyers shouldn't have to prove it. The government should have to disprove it because the government has to prove all elements of a crime, right. one of which is that you really wanted to do well, it. We I didn't think talk tape, you into it. I think the tape recordings will tell the tale. The FBI has revealed less than half of the tapes. You and I read the same affidavit. Right, let's assume, we're not going to try this on TV. Let's assume what the feds say is true. We can't. That they have... Let's assume. Do you know what the word assume means? Well, let's assume. You're leading with your chin on that one. Okay. Assume. The FBI has on tape that they tried to dissuade him at times from doing this violent act. He was bent on doing it, okay? 
But there was no violent act because they didn't give him access to any weapon. Yet he's charged with wanting to use a weapon of mass destruction. If you're sitting on the jury, all right, putting your pinhead judge title aside, and you hear on the tape, that the feds said, you know, maybe you don't want to do this. And the guy is adamant about doing it. Do you vote? Do you vote to convict? I would have to hear the tapes that the FBI did not reveal. I would have to hear his explanation. So exculpatory of what evidence, which the defense attorney is entitled to in discovery, correct? Well, absolutely. Okay, so you assume you would hear it. Don't dodge. If the tapes show. He wanted to kill the people in Pioneer Square. Do you vote to convict? No, because right, wanting to commit a crime is not the same as committing well, a crime. Well, that's not what the Supreme Court says. We will become East Germany Hold if we prosecute now people you're wandering into what the, they want. Now you're wandering into the land of theory, which you can do on your dopey show, but not here. This is the <laughs> Supreme Court, okay? Go ahead, go ahead. Court. What case? What case? The Supreme Court what ruling on a number of cases using subjective approach to evaluating entrapment. Quote, if the defendant can be shown to have been ready and willing to commit the crime right. whenever the opportunity presented itself, right. the defense of entrapment is unavailing, Ex unquote. Except when the government has planted the seed, coerced him, encouraged him, and led him by the nose. So you just admitted to me in front of millions of people that even if the government's tape shows he wasn't coerced, he wanted to do it, you still would vote to acquit. I say that's irresponsible. Well, I would have to hear the evidence of the coercion. If there is evidence of coercion, which I have seen in that same affidavit, this is not the proper role of government. Because if government right. can do now this to him, back on theory again, it can do it to said, anyone. If it is apparent, and I believe it will be, because I don't think Holder, a very liberal guy, the Attorney General is going to put his neck on the line, all right, and saying, we didn't, we gave him outs. But you still, and I believe you were telling the truth, you still, because you are a stubborn guy, would vote to acquit the man even if the tape showed he wanted to kill these people or a child molester wanted to rape the kid. Wanting to do evil That's is right. not a crime. But it is Supreme, a thought. We don't publish, no. punish thoughts in this but country. the Supreme Court has ruled you wrong on it. Because you read half the quote. The rest of the quote is, if the government planted the seed in his mind, He's not If you guilty. are on the internet trolling for teenagers, nobody planted Don't use me as an example for this. Okay? Nobody, and if your father calls the FBI saying, my son might kill somebody because he's a jihadist, nobody planted a seed. Go take two years and train him and encourage him right. to commit the crime. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, one of the finest legal minds in the country. You decide who had the stronger argument. Judge Napolitano. I love you, Bill. Thank All you right. for having me.